What is up guys, Rioletto here with uh, another noob video series here for Last Day on Earth. There was a couple of things that I discovered. One of them was this emote. So uh, if you don't know how to do an emote with your guy, just hold down over your character and you'll see these different buttons show up and you got different stuff here. So you have uh, here with the flag, looks like you surrender. Maybe that's going to come in handy later. And, um, and then, of course, we have a hello, which would be kind of cool once we have multiplayer. And then, of course, we have the angry gesture right here. I uh, don't want to repeat what that means, but uh, you probably saw that. <laughs> Anyways, I just logged into the game, and uh, the zombie horde has come through the crib. Looks like it only did a little bit of damage. It only hit this corner of the house, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we will be doing some decorating to this place here pretty soon. Also, too, I got one more piece to the floor that I'm going to do, hopefully by the end of this video, and then I can put down my ATV, which I've been wanting to do for the longest time. So, anyways, first thing I wanted to do for this video series, though, was to talk about the best way for noob auto farming. I've been finding this um, uh, pretty convenient, so I'll just show you what we're going to take off with here. We're going to go with some pickaxes to start off, a couple of extra weapons this time. And we're going to go with uh, with two full stacks of food, water. I got a little bit of extra food here. I'm just going to burn through this here um, so that we can get ready. I want to keep my health up as much as I can. And uh, we'll, I'll show you how this auto farming has been working for me. It'll make it a lot easier uh, for you guys to uh, start playing this game where you don't have to um, spam buttons all the time. So... We're going to go over here to this, um, uh, to the intermediate level, and I got enough energy. I saved up. As you can see, I've been playing quite a bit today. I'm all out of energy now. But we're going to go to this section right here, and we're going to do some rock mining and also do some iron ore. But I'm really low on rock. That's one of the things that I've been ignoring for a while. So uh, I'll show you how this how this works with the auto farming. If you're not familiar, there's an auto button down here to the lower left. As you can see here, if I press on it, he's going to start running and doing his thing. So I'm just going to let him get these rocks because this is what we're primarily going to go after. But um, I don't want to get the berries, so take them back off auto. Now, um, I should have mentioned this before, but I definitely highly recommend going with the, with the crowbar. Um, the crowbar um, it has a really fast attack speed, and it really helps with this kind of uh, farming, plus the materials are very cheap. So let me just pick up a few more items here so we can do something called splitting. Let's pick up a few more of this, and I'm going to need a little bit more rock. Tool broke, knew that was going to happen. I, I highly recommend going into the zones with your tools already pre-made. Don't try to make them while you are out uh, farming for for materials. Okay, so we're going to skip over all the wood. We're going to skip over all of this. We're going to need to get some more rock. Okay. Oh, now this spitter, when he tries to take a spit at us, we're going to sidestep him. Uh, looks like we got, a, we got away with him not attacking us. Oh. All right, here we go. It's rid of this wolf. See the speed of the crowbar, I, I think, is really effective. The number one reason is uh, for the speed is, or why speed, I guess, is good, is because you, you don't want to wear out your armor so fast. So th that helps. All right, so let me get some more rock. And this is a good little corner to start our auto. Let's get a little bit more here. And then I'll show you what my inventory should be looking like right now. Okay, so we're going to go through these axes pretty quickly. They, that does happen. And what we're going to do is we're going to split these up into, into how many stacks we want. So let's leave it like this for now. All right, and then we're going we're gonna to consume that and split again. Actually, you know what? I want more rock, so let's go ahead and go with... We're going to try to fill all of these up, but by splitting them, now it forces our inventory to be only of 
iron ore and rock so when now when I click auto he's he's only going to go towards those items and that's only if I keep these spots filled so so while your character's on auto you're going to want to be checking your inventory in case you see one of your um, axes uh, or pickaxe as it breaks if you look at the one right here you'll see that the that the uh, health of it is going down and it'll eventually will just break so that's why it's good to make at least three or maybe four if you can pretty cheap on materials okay so we're gonna let we're gonna let this guy auto and you can see that he will auto attack any enemies that come near him and you don't have to really worry about that now auto doesn't mean that you're not playing the game or you're not uh, you're taking it easy you put your phone down because you definitely want to keep an eye on your on your character because you're gonna want to keep uh, an eye on that health so we have carrots right here in our in our pocket so we have a quick access button right here so I'm gonna eat one and keep yourself healthy because you never know when another player is gonna enter into the zone and if that happens and you're not prepared uh, that might be the end of you so there he goes he automatically attacks any enemy you can see in the lower left that the auto button is uh, is on you can see the little circle that's turning the two arrows and he's just gonna keep going now you can see that these are breaking let's split those up now we should be making four stacks of iron ore and four or actually five stacks of stone Now the reason why I have these two weapons right here, these skull crushers, um, first of all I got these just, I, I just found them in chests, but um, if you ever run into like a floater bloater, which you will, oh look, at, speaking of the devil, you're going to want to move out of the way and go off of auto. So let's go ahead and get ready for this guy here, we're going to run off the zone really quick. And then we're going to switch weapons now because you don't really want to use your, let's go ahead and close those events. Now from this screen here, you can still access your inventory down on the lower right. So we're going to, we're going to go here, we're going to switch out and that should be enough health on that, on that skull crusher to take out the floater bloater. So let's go back in. Now, it's randomized on which section of the map you are that you enter on so it looks like it put us on the right hand side or the east hand side of the base but um, he's definitely around here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle back around to where he was and we'll continue where we left off let's see he should be around here oh, we picked up a couple of extra guys we're just gonna have to hit him with this hammer You'll see that it just takes them out really fast. Two hits. Uh, got a couple of extra guys here. Um, I don't see where he went. He should be right here somewhere. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. They're really kind of tough to sneak up on, but maybe we'll get lucky. I'll take this guy out. Let's go back to sneaking. Okay. We might be clearing out the center after all wasn't really part of the plan but uh, we have a good weapon with us oops you know it looks like it broke so let's get this back off from right here I just realized that it was the punch icon so let's go ahead and put this guy on and we'll just smack this guy a couple times now I have a feeling that there's another player around here. Uh, that floater bloater might be dead already. So let's just take this guy out and then we'll go back to auto farming. Okay, so I'm just gonna put him right about right here and then let's just go back to auto. And you can see right here, the inventory is looking pretty good. Uh, oops, I accidentally touched something there.
Okay, so let's go ahead and check and see how we're doing with our stacks. I th I think that the auto feature is 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 really nice as long as you have the health. As you can see by the by my food stacks, um, I'm doing pretty good with that. And uh, I'm oh, looks like we picked up some stray items here. Oh, that's all right. Actually, plant fibers are okay because I'll be making some armor later with that stuff. Um, it looks like we're doing pretty good with the iron ore, but we do need more rock. Oh, there he is. So we take this guy out. Boom. All right. The guy's disgusting. And then back to farming. I'm not really sure why they call him a floater bloater, but he definitely sounds bloated. Ho hopefully you guys are playing with sound. The sound is pretty important with this game. Okay, it sounds like my tool broke, so we're going to split this back up into rock. And we'll keep this going here. And this is pretty much it. We're going to just keep doing this uh, through the through the whole uh, zone. And we should have some nice healthy stacks of uh, materials to bring back to the base. All right, so once this guy is done, we'll uh, we'll head back to the base. So I'll catch up to you over there. Okay, guys, here is what we are left with after we are done with all of our uh, tools breaking. And uh, this is a pretty good haul. I'm going to run back to base. And uh, that's basically how you auto farm. Now, if I wanted to add extra stuff like berries or plant fiber, then I can split those up as well. Like if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to get more berries off of the place, then I would split these. And then once I go back to auto, then he will only go for those items that have room. As you can see, there's six, ten, and ten. So he will run all over the map until there is enough berries to fill those all up. So. Uh, I hope you guys find that information uh, useful. I know that I've been doing this. I did this whole zone in like probably less than five minutes. So um, it's uh, pretty convenient and it kind of helps with the thumbs. If you want to just give your thumbs a break, so just split up those items. Uh, that's my tip for, for you guys today. All right. So um, anyways, we're going to end this video really, sh really shortly. So I just wanted to show you before we wrap it up. I'm going to be dropping my ATV down on, on my map. I'm super excited about this. And let's go ahead and head over there. All right. I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, we are back here, back at base. And uh, super excited to finally get this 3x3 three three flooring down so that I can drop the ATV here. And then... Uh, you'll probably be noticing that this this space will be going through a major overhaul. I'll probably be talking about it on a future uh, video, but uh, I've been I've been watching what some of the uh, pro players that have been playing for a very long time what they're doing with their base, and you don't really want to keep it as open like the way I do. Uh, the reason for that is because eventually, uh, once you start getting raided by other players, if they just break through one of these exterior walls, then they're, they got access to the entire base. So you're going to want to compartmentalize your base a lot more. So that is the future plans for my base. But uh, this is going to be the core you know, from the entire my entire map here of everything that I can build on. Uh, this is the core area since this is where I started. But what I definitely want to do is I want to get closer to um, the truck. So I want to build out closer towards the truck right here because of the healer. And I want to be able to uh, have easy access to him. So this is something that I've been thinking about a lot. But anyways, for now, let's go ahead and put up the uh, the last of our piece. And let me see where I put the um, where I put my ATV at. Let's see, I know he's built. Just got to figure out where I put him. So let's go find that real quick. Still, oh, here he is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and build out this last piece here. All right, finally done. Super happy about this. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down. Yes, finally. And there we go. There we go. But look at this giant ATV is right in the middle of my my base now. It's going to be really hard to walk around. So I'm going to be doing some expanding. i got to do some remodeling with this place. But now I can start working on this. If you guys don't know what the ATV is for... Um, oh, wow. Look at all those parts I'm going to need. Okay, well, that's what you got to do. That's going to that's gonna take some time. But one of the reasons for that is, um, at least from what I've read, if there's any expert players out there that uh, do see this and they want to correct me, I heard that the ATV, it's, it's definitely for travel, like the chopper that is in place right now. But if you look over here, there's some, there's some places that look really hard to, to get to. So I have a feeling we'll be able to get to these these uh, forests and these other parts of the map that are across these rivers with the ATV. So you're going to want to have that vehicle ready to go. I don't think it's implemented. As you can see, we're on uh, 1.8.5. It's not implemented yet, but Kafir has definitely teased pictures of the ATV recently on their Discord channel. So I have a feeling the ATV is going to be going... Uh, into action here really soon in one of the next few updates so i'm really excited about that anyways guys that's my video for today and uh on the next video i think i'm going to be talking about just some of the different various noob weapons that you should carry and which are the best and cost effective all right all right uh, until the next video i'll see you guys later